Oh man, the only reason you could be clicking on this video is because you finally done it. You finally done something to get your ad account blocked. Maybe you tried pushing through a video with a gun in it too many times. Maybe they finally caught on to the fact that you had a naked girl twerking in the background of the video. Whatever it is, I won't judge. Cause trust me, I've been there. I've had a good amount of ad accounts blocked. And contrary to what you might be thinking right now, it's not the end of the world. It's the network. What's going on? My name is Cole Reed, music marketer and co-founder of Country Brand Agency. And today, I wanna to talk to you about what you need to do should you ever get one of your ad accounts blocked. Now, I'm going to give you some general rule of thumbs to what to do if your account gets blocked on any of the major ad platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube, whatever it is, these rules usually apply and usually are best case scenario practices. Now, I'm not going to be able to walk you through the exact process for every single ad account because that would be a lot just to be real with you, but I can at least give you some general guidelines on what to do should you ever end up in that situation. Now, before we get into all of that, come and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Links will be in the description below. Come talk to me, come engage with me, come give me some video ideas, all of that good stuff. Also, make sure you go and check out the new Brandman Network site. We are taking new applicants into the course series. We finally opened the doors back up to people who want to join. So check that out. The link will be in the description below as well. Make sure you get in. We definitely got some cool stuff going on over there. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Now, usually when it comes down to getting your ad account blocked, no matter what platform it is, it's usually because you violated some type of principle either multiple times or you violated it before your account had enough clout to where you could be making those type of mistakes. For instance, I once had an ad account that got blocked because we had a client that had a bunch of guns in his videos. We got the video pushed through. It ran for maybe about two weeks or so. And then Facebook caught it. We tried to appeal it. It got through again. Facebook caught it again. We pushed it through one more time. <laughs> they called the third time. And they were like, nah, that's it. We're done with you. And they blocked our account permanently. I still haven't gotten back into that ad account to this day. Um, I've also had an ad account blocked before because I violated a guideline of the Facebook ad platform. And at this point, that ad platform or that ad account was maybe about two or three weeks old. So I hadn't built up enough reputation on the Facebook ad manager platform for them to even let me slide with one mistake. And that's the one thing I see a lot of artists going through is that a lot of the times you guys will make ad accounts, go and try to set an ad up and then get your ad account blocked from the beginning because you violated the rule of that platform before you had enough credibility on the platform to be doing things like that. Which brings me to the first tip for what you need to do to really prevent your account from getting blocked. This is more so of a, of a preventative method, but you need to understand what the different guidelines are on the ad platforms and what they will block and not block as far as content. Now, most of these ad platforms have similar things that block. No nudity, no drugs, no violence, no like hate speech or any type of hateful imagery towards other people. Those are some of the basic things that are usually applied across all ad platforms across the board. But some of them have very specific things that they block that others may not. For example, you cannot show cartoonish looking violence in a Facebook ad. I once had a client get his ad blocked because he was copying like the Batman pow, bam stuff that comes up whenever the old school Batman cartoons would come on, they would punch people. Yeah, he had a video that was copying that exact same style of art and the video got blocked because even though it wasn't real violence, it was still violent enough and they blocked it for like quote unquote cartoonish violence. I don't remember the exact term they used, but basically they blocked it for cartoonish violence. So the first thing that you need to do in order to one, prevent your account from getting blocked, but to also know what you need to do next in case your account does get blocked, is you need to understand why it got blocked in the first place. What rule did you violate? Why did your piece of content get flagged? Because if you don't figure out what the root of the issue is, you won't be able to fix it, and then all you're going to do is risk getting either another ad account blocked, whether that be your own or some type of marketers or advertisers, or you'll never really understand what happened and you'll always be at the mercy of the ad platform. And that's the last thing you wanna be at is at the mercy of the ad platform. So first thing out the gate, go read the Facebook ad policy terms for advertising. Go read the Google ad policy terms for advertising. Whatever platform you're advertising on, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, Spotify, whatever it is, please read the rules for what type of content they will block, what things they allow and what things they don't allow. It will save you so, so, so much trouble in the long run. So let's assume you've gone through that. You got it now. Now you know these are the things that will get my video blocked or my content blocked. Now you know what to stay away from. So let's talk about what do you do if you've made it past that point. 
No, you might be saying Corey is too late. I already put the video up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got I ain't got 2020, I ain't got past 2020. So we gotta figure something to do right now. I got you, bro. So the first thing that I do whenever a piece of content gets blocked that leads to my ad account getting blocked is I always try to appeal it. Now, most advertising platforms have a space where you can actually appeal the decision of the ad platform. Facebook is their Facebook ad support team. Google is their Google ad support. Usually you go through the support team or whatever the platform that you're on and you're running your ads through. And you can just outright appeal their decision. Um, it's usually a matter of hitting them up. First, asking them like, hey, what policy did I violate? They usually tell you, hey, you had a gun on this time frame in the video. Yo, you, we, we noticed that that stripper was, was, was snorting coke on this frame, like we caught that. They'll usually tell you why. And sometimes you can appeal it and get the decision reversed. Now, if it's something that's not crazy, you know, like let's say, you know, sometimes certain drug things show up in the video, even the gun stuff, you know, sometimes you can get it appealed and pushed through because either whoever is doing the new appeal just completely misses what got the video blocked in the beginning, or you 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 meet somebody that doesn't care, you know, so just to be real, like you find somebody that's like, yo, do your thing, you know what I'm saying? Let it, let it get pushed through. But that is the very first thing you should do when your account gets blocked, is just reach out to the support team. That's what they're there for. They're meant to help you through the process of getting your account back if you haven't violated some policy or, or done something too crazy. And they usually have a lot more answers as to why or what you need to do next, you know, than, I don't know, other people outside of the platform. So start there. Like, literally, if your platform has been blocked, if your ad account has been blocked, go back to the support team of whatever platform that you're trying to get it unblocked on and just reach out to them and speak to them and ask them if they can unblock your platform or what did you do and see if you guys can come to some type of agreement that allows you to get your ad account back. All right, so let's assume that you did this, right? Let's assume that you reached out, you tried to talk to the support team, they wouldn't budge, right? There's something crazy in the video, you said something wild, or maybe what they're telling you doesn't make sense, you know? What can you do next or what should you do next? And just to kind of give, you know, a little bit of a, of a disclaimer, I don't know if this is like the right thing to do. Like, I don't know if this is what Facebook wants you to do or Twitter or YouTube or Snapchat or any of them really wants you to do, but this is what I do. And at this point, I'm honestly like a professional ad account blocker. You know what I'm saying? Like I've had at least three or four ad accounts get blocked as of me making this video. But once again, what I do in those scenarios is I just go make a new ad account. Now, most of them don't have any like super advanced IP tracking where they can really stop you from creating a whole new ad account. And normally it's as simple as creating a new business account or business manager account or whatever that equivalent is for the ad platform that you're looking at, making a new account with a new email, setting it up, and then going about your way, which is why I stressed in the beginning, understanding why exactly you got your ad account blocked so that you don't make the same mistakes once you make your new account. So let's say that you do get your ad account blocked. You don't do your due diligence looking into why it got blocked exactly. You go complete the last step, make a new ad account, and then the same exact thing happens and then now you're out of another ad account and now you have to, you know, maybe go make a new dummy email or something like that. So if your ad account gets blocked, on any ad platforms, don't stress. Don't stress about it. You can literally just make a completely new ad account. But please, before you do, make sure you understand why you broke the guidelines in the first place and why they blocked you so that you don't end up in that same scenario. But yeah, that's literally what I've done for all my, my ad scenarios. You know, like I said, I'm on my fourth ad account now as of me making this video. If I had an ad account blocked because of something the client did, I had an ad account blocked because I didn't pay money on it on time, I had another ad account get blocked because of something we were promoting for a show. And my ad account now has been stable. Like we haven't dealt with any issues. It's probably because of all the ads we run on the agency side. Like at this point, we've built up our ad accounts clout to the point to where if we run something that uh, Facebook or YouTube or TikTok or Spotify doesn't like, they're usually pretty lean on us. They might give us a little slap on the wrist, but they don't block the whole account. But you know, it took us time to get to that point. It took us time of running ads the right way, making sure we didn't violate any of the guidelines, making sure we play uh, by the rules and within the rules they set for us. And then now when we slip up, the, the penalties aren't so harsh. You know, like I said, our ad might get blocked for a day or two. The whole account hasn't got blocked for a while. So, you know, fingers crossed, I'm trying to keep that streak going. But other than that, I'm curious to know, have you ever gotten your ad account blocked on any platform? If so, what did you do to get it back? Did you get it back? If not, what are you working on to get that back in your arsenal and make sure you're not missing out on all this sweet pay advertising traffic that's literally out there on every single platform? 
other than that, if you feel like you learned anything today, please like and share this video. Hit those post notifications as well as I wouldn't want you guys to miss anything. Once again, my name is Corey, and I'll see y'all next time.